What's up, my friends? Welcome back to another episode of the Fishing Hooker. This is Captain Fox. It's been a while since we made a video, but we're back and we plan to have a lot of fun this year making uh, new adventures with you guys and taking you along on our journey. Trying to enjoy the water and give you some knowledge on things about a boat and some of the places we visit and some history, true history as well as some true knowledge about fixing a boat, restoring a boat. There's nothing wrong with enjoying the, what God gave us, the waterways and the fish and the crabs and other features in the boat in the water that we can enjoy and help sustain our lives with enjoyment as well. Today we're going to talk about, <clears throat> if you bear with me, we're going to look at a few things I got to, two things actually that I got to fix on, on my boat, okay? And then we're going to break down what straights are, how the hull is designed the, on the boat I have and what benefits it gives me and the reason, that's the reason why I bought that type of boat. Okay, let's get started. Yes, I've been jacking the boat up because I needed to change a roller that broke on my fishing trip last week, going down to the Hampton Roads, James River area, Chesapeake Bay and they're doing a lot of construction on the bridge there on 64 high rise bridge and I hit a big rough pothole and it broke one of my rollers and there's some scratches to the bottom of my hull but right now you're looking at an electric motor and it's a dual prop and I installed it. I had it on my last boat. And I put it on this boat. Um, it runs on three batteries. It could run on two. But I have hooked up to three. So we're going to have a whole complete video on how to install it. And give you a, a test run on the water on how it works. So bear with me. Hang in there with me, and we're going to get to that one. Now, this hull today video, you see the flat part at the back of the boat or the, the rear, for those that don't know nautical terms, the stern is flat, basically flat. But underneath, it's not so flat, right? It goes down to a deep V, but it's flatter on the outside. And as you come around toward the front, it slopes and becomes a deep V. All right. Those things under here, these edges, this stuff here, it's called a straight. And that's what we're going to explain the purpose of a hull modified deep v hull and what purpose the straights have so when you come to pick your boat out or change boats you have a better idea of what type of hull you want now you can see where the roller see the roller there it's off there so i got to put a new roller i already ordered them they, they i received them so i'm going to change all of those rollers out okay so bear with me. We're going to do a video on changing those out. That's why I got these blocks and all. We're going to support the boat off the trailer and install that. All right, let's get back to talking more about the importance of the straights on a boat. Now, the reason I like a boat over the years, this is my fourth boat. And all of them have had the same type of hull design. 
and especially when you're out on the waterways like Chesapeake Bay or James River, Elizabeth River, the Hampton Bar, those waterways, Abermora Sound, you're going to run into waves. And not so much a storm wave, but you'll run into wakes made from other vehicles on the water, tugboat barges, ships, tankers, other boats speeding by at a high rate of speed. Some people are very uncourteous on the waterway. And uh, you trucking along and at a moderate cruising speed, and here come an idiot. Yeah, I'm gonna call him an idiot. And they come close to you with a big wake, making a big wake. So to get a smoother ride, or even if the water's choppy, three or four foot waves, what you can do with this type of boat, a modified V with the straights on it, is turn into the waves, which most people don't do that. For some reason, they have fear to do that. But turn your boat gently into the wave, and as you see the waves coming, like I say, from um, another boat that's moving a lot faster than you and causing a large wake, or a tanker, the tanker not being an idiot, but you know the tanker being larger than your boat, normally you would get a larger wake depending on how close you are to the tanker. And the bottom line is turn into the wake. And as your boat hit those waves, it's going to rise up on the waves and work as a, the strakes work as a shock absorber, believe me. And you just gently go across the wake. But if you don't do that and you go parallel with the wake, guess what's going to happen? The weight going to hit the side of your boat and push you around or sometimes may flip you over depending on the size of your boat or how large the wake is and cause you to flip over or temporarily lose control. You're going to lose control of the boat, no doubt about it, because it's hitting you from the side and the boat going to rock back and forth. But if you turn, like I say, turn gently into the wave on a modified modified V, it's going to ride right over top that wave. And uh, you'll see the difference. Once you experienced it one time, you'll see the difference and you'll appreciate it. Especially with me, with my spouse, if the boat keep rocking too much, it's going to make a very uncomfortable event for her. So I had to show her the purpose of the hull design that I picked and how it works in case she's driving the boat because we've been teaching her how to operate the uh, vessel. All right. Now I'm going to go back to showing you some pictures of the straits and explain it in de deeper detail. I'm not an engineer, but work with me here, and we're going to, break it down the best we can all right peace and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and share videos with other people all right peace like i said the modified v hull is the ultimate crossover if you put it in like automobile understanding so the modified multi Modified V hull is the ultimate crossover of all planing hulls types. It's a mix of a flat bottom and deep V hull. It is one of the most popular hull designs for small motorboats. It's flat on in the back and then runs into a narrow V shape to the front. The flat back makes it more stable and adds a little speed while the V-shape front ensures good handling. It is, in short, kind of the compromise family sedan of boat hulls. 
It's the fastest design that's also stable, that's also safe, and that also handles well. But it's not the best in any of those things. But indeed it's safe. It's sharp, but broad bow entry offers more interior space. Flattens out a bit aft. Not as much rocking as DV, deep V pontoons. And also, another bullet point is a flat deck boat supported by pontoons or seal tubes. Could be considered a modified V as well. So, sit back, enjoy looking at the straits and listen to some music. Oh yeah, also the deep uh, modified deep V hull with the straights. The straights on the boat, early I said they act as shock, shock absorbers and that's true to cushion the motion of the hull. But designers found that the straights not only provided lift when you're trying to get the boat up on plane, that's the, one of the main purpose of the straights as well, is to help you get the boat upon plane better. To achieve easier planing, most deep V hulls have lift straights incorporated in the hull. Fish and hook it, book it. Go to work. Ain't nothing but a groove thing. Yeah. Rock the waves. Thanks for watching. Free subscription. No problem. Come back and see me now. <laughs>